arrive in the early hours of Wednesday, the 17th of April. But with calm ocean conditions and good weather, it was possible she could arrive early on Tuesday evening instead. The night of the 14th of April was moonless and a light fog was developing on the horizon. Titanic's captain, Edward Smith, had received a number of ice warnings during the day and had changed their course so they were further south to avoid the affected areas. The captain retired to bed and First Officer William Murdoch took charge of the bridge as officer of the watch. Titanic steamed ahead through the night while lookouts Frederick Fleet and Reginald Lee searched the horizon for small ice. They were standing here in the crow's nest when at 11.40pm Fleet spotted an iceberg directly ahead. He rang the warning bell three times to indicate an obstacle ahead and phoned the bridge. Murdoch gave the order, hard a starboard, and the ship turned to port, but it was too late. Titanic struck the iceberg on her starboard side. The impact buckled hull plates and sheared rivets, revealing her six compartments to the ocean. <laughs>